Ben Thompson is a little bit more pessimistic. He's um, a very famous uh, digital uh, strategist. And uh, uh, when, he, when he says something about the future of technology, people listen. His uh, blog is called Stratechery. Strat, like strategy, but strategy. And, uh, and he wrote a blog post that made a lot of waves uh, earlier this week. It's called The Four Horsemen of the tech recession. So first of all, he mentions that there is a tech recession. Um, he's referring to all of these people who are getting fired because we thought that Twitter would be the only one, but like in the weeks, literal weeks after Twitter started firing people, uh, you, could, you could see that Microsoft started firing people, Google started firing people. So, um, and it's not over yet. So mm -hmm. it used to be the type of job where you would think, uh, yeah, I'll work for a tech company and they were, financially speaking, they were the big winners of the pandemic. They didn't feel the pandemic at nope. all, on the contrary. Uh, but now there is this recession, right? So he points uh, he points to that. And uh, so why are all of a sudden are these companies who made so much money in 2020 and 21, uh, why do they now have to fire thousands of people? And so the four horsemen of the, not of the apocalypse, but of the tech recession, according to Ben Thompson, um, is um, a, a hangover after the, their growth during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. That's interesting. So a hangover. So maybe they got a little overconfident mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, yeah, a bit too comfortable when they saw all this money pouring in. Hardware life cycles. Uh, I, I have no idea what he means uh, by that. Hardware life cycles. Um, and the end uh, of... Uh, I, I, maybe the hardware can is better engineered now that it can be oh, with so a longer a lifespan. Like yeah. A new computer or a new iPhone every two years, uh, which is not true in the case of an iPhone. <laughs> um, um, at the end of zero interest rates, that is that is a fact. Yeah. I mean, um, it's, uh, but I thought that would hurt startups more mm -hmm. than it would hurt the big tech companies. <laughs> no.